welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am the science wild heart and teacher Jean here in Native Camp. Yes, we will be talking about what my title is saying. Since lately, I have been encountering rude students in my classes. <laughs> I actually have six rude students today. They they went into my class very early and it made my day the worst. Honestly, it made me feel less motivated to teach, so that's why I changed my clothes to relax and just to take a little break to calm down myself from all those I can say unreasonable students. So before I give you tips and tricks on how to handle difficult students, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will get updated whenever I have a new video. students is not new here in native camp especially to teachers out there who have been already working for a couple of months or a couple of years but to those who did not experience it you are very lucky this video can help you in the future verbal abuse is not healthy to ourselves emotionally and mentally you will end up validating yourself what you did wrong that the student responded that way but in the end you will just realize that it was not about you it's about the student so the student really is having an inner issues first tip never let them see you sweat and kill them with kindness when a student is rude to you please never respond in a kind imagine if the student is on fire and you will also be in fire so fire plus fire creates more fire so it actually doesn't help the situation i know it's tempting to do it but just please take a breath and instead compose a professional response when i say professional response it may be a bit sound rude to the student because you are telling him that the behavior is unacceptable or the behavior is not appropriate for the class setting but still it's the formal way to say it take for example i wrote to my student like hi there thank you for having a class with me i know you're a very good person but during the class you were saying this and this and this and i think you are entitled to your own opinion however you asked me on my opinion so i gave you the opinion and your reaction on my opinion is quite unacceptable especially the words that you are using which is already verbal abuse which is supposed to be um, a mutual a mutual understanding since you want my opinions so in that way you are telling your students that it's not good to say this way but that's a in a formal way tip number two it's in connection with my first tip yes be kind but make sure you are firm it is important to convey a tone of kindness and firmness we are there to teach students that means we are not their friends, colleagues, or dormots, and we deserve to be treated with respect just as much as students do. I notice that students tend to respect teachers or who has clear expectation and are consistent in enforcement of their policies. I have been noticing, for example, a specific student, most of the teachers um, is giving the real feedback to the student that the student is rude and stuff like that. But there is also a student that's just being passive. Like, hey, thank you very much for having a class. It's been a wonderful talk, which is, I'm pretty sure it was not because most of the teachers already commented negative one. So don't be like that as a teacher. 
we have our own principles and especially since we are a teacher we need to identify which is a bad thing and a good thing but then we tell them in a professional way tip number three take a deep breath and try to remain calm I know it's natural to be overcome with frustration, resentment, and anger. But when you are actually in that situation, you become less rational and your agitation becomes contagious. So as I said, fire plus fire it becomes big fire, which actually doesn't help in the situation. Tip number four, don't hate it personal. This is the wrong thing that I did. I took it personal in my situation. So as I told you, I end up validating myself. What I did wrong, the students responded me that way. So it's not about you. Usually students who respond to us negatively have underlying issues. Yes, and we are merely the unfortunate ones at that moment. So as humans, our initial reaction to criticism is to take it personal. However, if we allow ourselves to take a step back and view the situation from a broader perspective, we often can see students projecting their own issues onto us because we are the easier target than the real root of the problem. So again, it's not about you, it's about the students. Wow, teaching is not only just opening your textbook and discussing and teaching the lesson to the students, but it also has an additional responsibility which you need to determine what kind of student you are having so you will have a specific technique on how you will be able to teach this lesson to him. The last tip that I will be giving you, five, make sure students understand that it's their misbehavior you dislike, not them. So you need to clarify your message or response that will not let them understand that you don't like them. Like for example, I have a, a student, I wrote him like, for example, Mitsu. So I like you, Mitsu. But right now, your behavior is unacceptable and blah, 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 blah. So that is a really formal way to let your students know that you don't accept such kind of behavior. So, um, I hope you can use those tips in your future journey here in Native Camp. But if a student is really, um, let's say, threatening you already, like, I'm going to kill you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you, I'm going to this and blah 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 then i think it is better to to block a student and then to take and to give the reason why you're blocking him and also go to your admin and then make a formal complaint about the student and be precise with your report like name and then lesson id and then what really happened in the situation and all the foul words if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment down below what you want me to do on my next video please again don't forget to subscribe this is your Ivy Science Wild Heart till the next video bye